So two weeks ago, this customer called for a septic pump. They had no idea where their septic tank was at. When we got out here, we were able to find it, but it was close to five feet deep. And we let them know, we're probably not gonna dig that up by hand. This is probably a better job for a machine to come out and dig. So we got them on the schedule, came out here with the machine today, and sure enough, the tank is five feet deep and it looks like it's never been uncovered. So we're gonna go uncover the tank and see what we find. You know those people who say that they don't have to pump their tank, they've gone 20 years without pumping their tank and they never have a problem? Well, this is a tank that hasn't been pumped in more than 20 years. Let's look and see if it has a problem. So first things first, the lid, whenever we went to pull it out, just broke off in our hand and you can see it's deteriorated. This is supposed to be concrete. It's not, it's just soft sort of like the consistency of butter. So literally the tank is deteriorating out and being uh, weaker each passing year because it hasn't been serviced the right way. Next, the sanitary tee, again, made of concrete, and we can just reach down and pick off pieces of concrete uh, that is just deteriorated out to where it can just come apart in your hand. That is a big indication that this tank, one, hasn't been serviced in a long time, and two, is deteriorating to the point that it's gonna need to be replaced soon. It doesn't have to be replaced yet. Right now, we're just gonna trim off the outlet tee and install a new plastic one that isn't going to deteriorate because plastic lasts a heck of a lot longer in sewage than concrete does. So we're gonna make a couple of repairs and then because the thing is so damn deep, we're gonna install her some risers so that they can actually access this tank and take care of it the way that they're supposed to. So uh, you'll get to see the process as it unfolds. So now that we have the risers installed and concreted in, we're gonna go ahead and put the dirt back and then trim this to the appropriate height based on where the final grade level of the dirt is. This riser is gonna stick uh, pretty much at ground level uh, so that they can access the filter inside. This riser, on the other hand, we're gonna bury about a foot underneath the soil so that it is not an eyesore. They don't need to access this side as much as they do this side. So uh, we'll have this all covered up in about 20 minutes. Well, I said it would be about 20 minutes and I was wrong. It's closer to 21, but the dirt is put back in the hole. Everything is covered back up and the ground is machine grade finish. Now what's important to realize is, is we're not gonna smooth this out for, for them because the soil is gonna compact and create an uneven surface. So landscaper will come back after us, smooth everything out, plant some grass, and the customer will be all set. Have a great day.